guys, I quickly want to show you. Whoops. Hello guys, I quickly want to show you what I do when my case, my case. <laughs> Hello guys, I quickly wanted to show you what I do in case my hair gets a bit greasy. As you know, I'm not washing my hair too often, like every five days, kind of, and I wash it with rye flour. Uh, which is very gentle and helps you to go less often with washing your hair and you can find that video here <laughs> and I want to show you now that I also use the rye flower as dry shampoo so I can even use it in between my washings and it works perfectly it's really 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 good um, so I'm on my third day now after washing my hair the last time and I just put some rye flour in this salt shaker. <laughs> um, ideally you would have even like smaller holes in it, finer holes, but I just don't have it and I don't want to buy an extra one. So this is rye flour and this once was full. <laughs> So now I'm just sprinkling so you can see it's not like the freshest look. My hair doesn't look as fresh as on first day, obviously. But no need to wash the hair. You can just sprinkle the rye flower on your hair. But only very like lightly like a bit snow on your hair because otherwise your hair will look a bit too white like a bit grey if you're blonde if you have dark hair you can also use this if you don't like put on too much because otherwise you know it lightens your hair but you can also use I read like cacao or carob powder to do it so you now see I have <laughs> snowflakes on my hair and now I just kind of rub it in like a bit massage <laughs> and you can already see how ungreasy my hair got so it got really like fresh again and I do have my tails now so I can't really brush it that much but the thing is just you want to distribute it so it is everywhere and the, the flakes like they bind with a fat with an oil in your hair because what happens so why this works is because the yeah the the rye flour just combines with the oils it soaks up the oils basically and that is great because that is how the oils are not visible anymore and still it doesn't strip off the hair and you don't have to wash it so it doesn't dry out in the long run so you don't have to wash it too often I mean I don't know what it looks like on the back I'll do some more I can't see it now but you can tell me if it's enough what? enough you said? okay Okay, so again I massage it in. And it's so quick, it's a real quick fix. And without bullshit. And without substances that damage your hair in the long run. 
So I'm not sure what it looks like now. It might be a bit light or white in the back, but I can still like if you if you comb it or brush it enough, it'll go away. And it's so great. Like it only takes one or two minutes. And so when I get up and my like I only wash my hair if, if it's really really greasy. If I if I'm just like no I just like I also feel like washing it then but you know I don't count the days but most of the times it's five days that I really can go without washing it and I just take this rye flower, sp um, la rye flower shaker and fix it like that and I'm good to go for another one two three days it's great I really recommend it but what you have to The only thing you want to pay attention on is that you only use gluten-free flour. You don't want to use gluten flour because that, like, if you want, if you will wash your hair the next time, it's going to get, like, sticky and gluey in your hair and not, not good. <laughs> so you don't want it in, in your hair. Um, For the brown haired or dark haired ones among us, I really recommend uh, try just try the cacao or carob powder version. Um, it works just as well, but you should be prepared that your partner might want to eat you because <laughs> you will just smell a bit like not from far away, but if you go close to your head, you will smell like chocolate and also you will smell yourself so <laughs> maybe that's something for you uh, otherwise you can just use that but not like not as much and it will work wonderfully for you um, see my other video where I wash my hair like really wash my hair with rye flour and with, with water just like replacing shampoo um, because I just I belong to the ones who tried the baking soda and apple cider vinegar method but it just didn't work for me it made my hair really really dry because of the ph value and i'll explain that in exactly that video um the link of which i'll link below the video in the description box so look into it and maybe you like maybe that is what you were looking for um so if you don't want to use shampoo or but also don't want to use baking soda or apple cider vinegar because you have any issues with it. Look into it and I see you next video. Bye!